What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Finally, after a long wait, Google has started pushing the official version of Android 15. This is the beautiful looking uh, Pixel 9 here. Let's go ahead and check out these settings. Let me tap on settings here. Let's go to the system. And uh, here, let me tap on software updates. As you can see, we have got the update available right here. It says, hello Android 15, your device is made to work for you. In the change log, it doesn't talk about all the new features. It just talks about the private space, theft protection, better multitasking on tablets and foldables, archive apps, and improved navigation with a new back gesture preview. Apart from these, there are a lot many features which we will discuss in this video. And as you can see the update size here, it is not a huge update as such. It is 1.07 GB update. Let's go ahead and tap on download and install. It's gonna take some time. The update will get installed in the background. Uh, it may take a few minutes, so I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Let's briefly check out all the new features that we have. The first feature is private space. Now you can create your own private space within the app drawer. When you scroll the app drawer all the way down, at the bottom you will see private space option. You will be able to save the files, documents, images, videos, anything that you want within the private space and lock it completely. Anybody trying to access this private space will have to input the password or use the fingerprint scanner. So only you will have the access to the private space. It basically works like the secure folder on Samsung Galaxy phones, inside which you can have your own applications with different accounts Accounts. you can have all the files and folders that you want it will remain completely private and only you will be able to access it now to enable this all you need to do is go to the settings and search for private space follow the prompts and you will be able to create a private space which will sit right here at the bottom of the app tray the next important feature which I found interesting is notification cooldown now you turn off the Wi-Fi during your sleep and in the morning when you turn on the Wi-Fi you will be bombarded with all the notifications on your phone that can be annoying sometimes because when there are too many notifications the repeated notification sound will bother us a lot now this new feature the notification cooldown will lower its volume and minimize alerts for up to two minutes calls alarms and priority conversations are not affected now that's a pretty handy feature on android 15. the next brilliant feature on android 15 is theft detection. Now let's say you are using the phone in a public place and somebody snatches it and runs away, the phone will automatically get locked. Google uses on-device machine learning and AI to detect the theft and lock the device instantly when it is stolen. The thief will not have any access to your data, he cannot see your gallery, he cannot see your uh, emails or any data that you have got on the phone will not be accessed by the thief when it is stolen. So that is the whole point of it and I have already made a detailed video about this for the Samsung Galaxy phones. We already have this feature on Galaxy phones. If you missed that video, you can go ahead and check that out. And I'm really glad to see this kind of a feature available now on the Android phone. Then we have got some changes on the volume panel. Now the volume panel looks much better. We have got horizontal bars now, which is much more elegant compared to the previous volume panels. Next, we can create application pairs. If you're into multitasking, you can create an app pair and place it on the home screen. The moment you tap on this application pair, both the applications will open up in split screen view. We have seen this on Samsung Galaxy phones for years now and uh, Android 15 has just got this feature. Next, we have got something called app archiving. A lot of times we do not use the applications we have installed on the phone, maybe some shopping applications or other applications which we have installed on the phone will remain there for a longer period of time with a lot of data in it. And if you want to free up that space which these applications are consuming, without deleting those applications from the phone, then you can just go ahead and archive it. It will remove most of the heavy data from the application, keeping all the necessary data within the application itself. Whenever you want to use the application, you can just go ahead and unarchive that particular application to start using it. That's another new feature that we have got. Next, Google has added a brand new feature to extend the battery lifespan. We already had the adaptive charging feature and now we have got a new option called limit to 80%. What this will basically do is it will limit the charging to 80% when you have plugged in the charger. Beyond 80%, it will not charge the phone. I wish we had more options like Samsung where we have something like battery battery protection under which we have got basic protection, adaptive protection and maximum protection and it looks like Google is offering only the maximum protection where the battery will stop charging when it reaches 80%. This feature extends the battery lifespan. Let's say your battery was supposed to deteriorate in about two years. It will extend it by a few days or a few months if you set the charging limit to 80%. Now, nobody has tested this. How long it's going to extend the battery lifespan, we don't really know. But having this feature is quite handy. 
Then we have got a brand new add button now on the widgets. This add button has made it more easier to add the widgets from the widget panel. Earlier we did not have this add button. We had to tap on the widget, hold on it, and then drag it on the home screen. But now while setting the widget, when we go to the widget panel, just scroll through the widgets that you want to add and tap on this add icon to quickly add the widgets on the home screen. Next, we have got a brand new option under Bluetooth toggle. If at all you have turned off the Bluetooth by mistake, you can keep this automatic toggle turned on so that the Bluetooth will be turned on automatically the next day at the same time. Then we have got this brand new predictive back gestures. Let me just show you that. Let's go to the settings here. Whenever you are on a particular menu, when you go back to the previous page, you can see this is a pretty cool looking animation we have got. You you will get to know what is there behind this particular menu option and uh, you can just swipe back you see we have got the home screen here you will know instantly that you're going to the home screen when you're swiping back from the current page as you can see on the android 14 when you try to go to the previous page it just shows you this uh, arrow here and on the android 15 when you try to go to the previous page it will give you this nice looking transition or animation and show you what is there behind this particular page which is kind of nice to use these are some brand new features we have got on android 15 in fact the animations are also looking pretty good it is slightly smoother and faster than before let me just open a few applications and show you guys let's open play store messages camera photos now let's go to the recent application as you can see it's pretty smooth Let's close all of them here. Now let me press and hold on the home screen. As you can see, the animation and transition are smoother than before. And I don't see any lags or stutters on Pixel 9, which is now running on Android 50. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know which one is your favorite feature. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, Galaxy watches, Android tablets, etc. And I keep you guys posted about all the brand new features, tips and tricks, and the new updates that you're going to get on your devices. So go ahead, subscribe, and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.